Hi guys, so if you hear the rain, yeah, it's raining. So my name is Awam Kenneth and this is my YouTube channel and today I want to talk about a book. But first and first, subscribe to the channel, right? Today I'm turning your notification bell. So this is the book, it's Power of Habits by Charles Duhigg and yeah. So it took me almost two months to read this book and I would have honestly read it a lot more faster but I just really wanted to get the secrets of the book basically like this book it's it's like a biological practical handout before your life you know so and it has a very sweet story form that I think a lot a lot of readers would um, actually love like it had a lot of case studies like practical case studies and practical stories that you could also look at and it will be familiar with what's your current life in a way so the books also talk about like marketing strategy funny enough and how marketing has been used to create habits within customers it's a very long story but I promise you it's one of the best reads of your life so like a funny case was um when um they talked about toothpaste and how toothpaste started in America and the whole marketing that was involved and employed and conjoined for Americans to fall into toothpaste and start using it basically every day. So the scientific research there is somehow that toothpaste doesn't really provide any additional value. Like you could as well just use water and put your hand inside the and you're done, right? Without using toothpaste. But because of toothpaste has this foaming effect, it has this means, you feel like, mm, this toothpaste is doing something, like my money's worth is here. But actually, those are just like casino effects, you know? So, and this talks about like air fresheners, how people started getting used to the daily rituals of using air fresheners at home um, by associating it with cleanliness and all that and all that. It talks about a lot of things. And the one that, the two stories that stood out for me um, were of um, two different women. The first one, she was an addict and she was able to like recover, I think in less than a year, climbed the mount something went to university and all that from just after being a drug addict and the second one was a stay-at-home mom who catered to her family who basically could not hurt to fly according to the story but ended up losing a million dollars in inheritance from just gambling right like she was never a gambler before but just because she wanted to cure boredom right she left the house and started playing at the casino once in a week and from there it grew to something it grew to a very terrifying monster to be honest so that's that's like basically why i love this book and i feel like i really want to talk about it because it's something that you could read uh, I'm not saying it's going to change your life <laughs> after you read it. Trust me, I haven't put anything to use after I read this thing, but I could see it, right? Like if I want to do something, I could control it from then on. So it talks about something called the habit loop where you have the cue, you have your routine and you have your reward. So three things that go in a loop. So the cue is basically when your addiction or craving starts, right? When, where you are and where you are and all that. The routine is, do you go to the shop, but someone brings it to you? Do you go to the cafe? What happens? Do you cook it? What exactly happens? And the reward is, do you, satisf do you get pleasure from doing that? Uh, just, do, you, do you just want to get high? Um, do you just want to achieve something basically or just feel that sense of entitlement or something else? I, mean, I don't know what I'm saying right now, but I think you get it. So, for example, if you want to lose weight, um, do you start eat, and you eat a lot of cookies, do you start eating cookies mostly around 3 o'clock on a Friday, right? What happens when you're when you when it's two o'clock on a Friday, right? So you can watch it from then on. Then by that time, do you go to a cafe? Like what happens? The friend come over to your house and give you a cookie. Then the reward, what is your pleasure? Like what do you de um, de derive from eating cookies, basically? Then if you know all those and um, if you have that figure out, you can now interchange for a much more healthier option. 
And last of all, he talks about like willpower, your ability to have willpower, right? Because that is also important. And he talks about how people are not able to control it and how people could be able to control their willpower. It's like I said, it's not something that will change your life drastically, but it's in steps, it's in progress. And you, a journey of a thousand miles starts with one step i know that is just so yeah but that's all i have for you guys today i hope you love this video sorry about the thunderstorm above <laughs> and the sound but yeah it's kenna here and peace guys